This is Sunny. Sunny is a Shih Tzu and he is in dire need of a haircut. So let's get busy. We're going to start Sunny with a four blade on the trunk of the body. See if we can salvage some of the hair on his legs and give him a cute round face. I am using a four blade on my Schoenbau digital clipper. Good boy, Sunny. You're all right. No, you're fine. Skimming down off the hips. Clipping from just below the base of the skull all the way down towards the tail. Skimming off over the hips. Rounding down around the rib cage. You're all right, buddy. It's okay. He's a cute she too. Typically a Shih Tzu should be groomed every four to six weeks. This one appears to have gone at least 12 weeks. He's a good puppy. Good boy, skimming down off the shoulders, coming up under the ear, and straight down the shoulder. Good boy. Now I'm going to take my blade against the grain and from right about the breastbone up to the jawline, I'm going to clip up. You're fine. I'm going to lift up his ear and from the line between the eye and the ear, I'm going to clip downwards. on both sides. Good boy. I'm going to lift him up on his hind legs and clip against the grain up to the armpits. And turn him around. And on the back end of the dog, I'm going to take my foreblade and skim off the hair back here. He is not neutered. So we want to be careful around the testicles. Good boy. Now I'm going to take my Artero Spectra Clipper, set on a tin blade, and clean around his eyes. To do this, I'm going to put my hand in like a C on his head, stretch the skin back on the skull, and come straight down in. The type of face I'm doing on him is going to remove a lot of hair around the eyes, so I'm going to take my clipper and scoop it towards the nose.
If you watch my Shih Tzu videos, you'll notice there's different techniques for around the eyes depending on the face style of the haircut that I'm doing. Good boy. This one's going to have a bit more of a masculine look rather than a feminine look. And he's going to have a little more of a beard rather than a really short chin. Right? Yeah. Now we're going to do the belly. Just going to lightly pick under here and get some of this excess hair off. I am noticing before I even start that his testicles are quite red. So I'm going to keep my clipper away from the testicles as much as possible. Because his hair is quite matted and I want to save a little length of hair on the legs, I am going to scissor off half of the hair prior to the bathing and conditioning. This will help to unlock the mats. Good boy, you're fine. This will also lessen the amount of product that I need to use on the dog and shorten the blow dry time. You can hear the scissors chunking through the mats. I'm going to take a portion of the tail off. And give him a cute little puppy ear. Pick up some of the hair off the top of the head between my fingers, tilt it towards the nose and trim. The hair on the inside of the legs is quite matted. So I'm scissoring that short. Good boy. You can hear his wheeziness, which is quite common with these dogs with short faces.
Now we're going to trim the pads of his feet. I am using a Heininger opal clipper with a 40 blade. I will not do a pre-bath brush out. I prefer to brush the hair after it's been conditioned. So let's get him in the tub. I'll be using Eye Groom Tearless Facial Shampoo on his face. And I am putting on the groomer's harness. This will help to keep him in the tub and keep him calm. I am hooking the groomer's harness to the tether, which I have attached to the platform in my tub. Boy, you're all right. That's it. Face, it's very important not to get water in the nose or soap in the eyes. I put the shampoo thickly in my hands, rub my hands together, then put the thickness of the shampoo here and here, and start rubbing it upwards. And then I will start to add more shampoo in those same places and gently start getting it up on the mustache using my fingers to get in the rolls under the eyes there's rolls of skin there you have to get those rolls nice and clean that's a good boy Shih Tzus really appreciate gentle handling of their face. They know when somebody is being very considerate of them. They're very smart little dogs. He's very dirty, so I am going to shampoo him twice. I use the Tearless Facial Shampoo on the face. On the body, I am using Igrum Prebiotic. Are you acting goofy? Mm -hmm. 
So for the sh first shampoo, I am just squeezing the shampoo into the body. It's a light shampoo to break up the dirt. I'm going to rinse this. Now I'm going to use iGrown Prebiotic Conditioner. Working the conditioner well into the coat, rubbing the mats, making sure it sinks all the way down into the mats. I use an ear cleansing solution to dry out any moisture that might have gotten into the ears to remove debris and loosen up ear wax. I fill up each ear canal, rub the base of the ears, and let the dog shake it out. Next, we wrap the dog up in a nice warm towel and head off to the blow dryer. During the blow dry process, I'll be using an Artero Universal Slicker an Artero Flexible Slicker, a Chris Christensen Butter Comb number 004, and a Diane Comb, Artero Nail Clippers, and a Maca Art uh, Nail Grinding Tool. This is made for humans and it is linked below. I am also using a Schoenbau Wall Mount Blow Dryer.
good. So after the bath, while I'm blow drying, I am checking the coat for matting. Anything that still feels a little too tight, I can snip out. The rest typically brushes out quite easily in a coat like this, as long as the mats have not been bathed in, and his apparently weren't. Once mats are bathed in and allowed to dry without being properly brushed and combed, that causes the mats to become cemented together and nearly impossible to remove. But being this dog did not have bathed in mats, he just had mats, they tended to come out quite easily. So there's differences in types of mats. There's also differences in behaviors of dogs. Groomers make a determination which dog they'll demat and which dog they won't based on temperament, type of mat, and the owner's attitude, because the owner's attitude plays into it a great deal. Say if this pet owner wanted a full coat and the dog was matted, and I did not have the uh, ability to 
cut half of the mats off before the bath, I would have refused because that would have changed everything. It would have made it much more difficult to brush out. It would have been much more uncomfortable for the dog and the owner's unreasonableness in the whole situation would have been a problem for me. All right. Now we're going to go back over the dog with the four blade. To do this, I am going to brush the hair in the way of the coat. And clipper the dog from the base of the skull down towards the tail with the grain, meaning in the direction that the hair grows. Good boy, you're fine. Rounding under the rib cage. bit of tight matting here. I'm going to carefully snip it out. Skim down over the big thigh muscle. down over the shoulders and up under the ears, clip that down, blending off the front of the dog. I'll get this one with a clipper with a tin blade I'm going to shave out this mat up under the arm very carefully lifting the arm up high this stretches that skin out under the arm it makes it far less likely that I will nick it because they have folds there you have to be very careful Lift him up, go back over his tummy. The Igram Prebiotic Shampoo and Conditioner remove that redness on the testicles, so that is awesome. I love that shampoo, it really soothes skin. But I'm still not going to shave the testicles just picking off the hair around them and leaving most of that hair intact. Good boy. He's a poor, poor doggy. Just terrible. As you can see, the harness sits well below his trachea, thereby allowing him the ability to breathe easier. Rather than a neck loop up high here with his breathing problems, that would have really been a problem for him. I know. You already have trouble breathing. 
Now I'm going to take my four blade against the grain, come back over this up under the dog, skim the inside of the legs with the four blade. over the cheeks. He has long hair inside the ears. So I'm going to comb this up and out. And snip it off. finish work for this dog we're going to use iGroom Magic Mist Spray for our scissoring spray and Utsumi Superfine Comb. Hey buddy. Artero Fusion Curvy Shears. These are for the mustache and around the feet. Jaguar Gold six and a half inch shears and Zolita Curved Chunkers. These are six and a half inches and a Chris Christensen Buttercomb number 006 for the face. And a small Paw Brothers brush with the plastic tips. First, we're going to trim the feet, brushing all the hair down and brushing the hair from between the toes down through using our Fusion Curvy Shears trimming off anything that falls past the pads, being careful not to nick the pads. Look at those cute little toe beans. Because he seems to have loose knees and I wanna be very careful that he doesn't buckle on me, I am holding the dog next to me, putting my arm up under the dog, keeping the knee supported here while lifting the foot here. Good boy. Repeat the process on all four feet. Good boy. You can see I have his hip braced against my body. This keeps him from backing up, keeps his legs from buckling. I've also got his back end firmly secured by having my arm up under the dog. Good boy. Yes, I know you like it here, don't you? Mm -hmm. Now I'll brush all the hair out around the feet with the feet firmly planted on the table and round the feet. We only have a few minutes left. His owner should return in nine minutes. Oh. 
Misting over the coat. And brushing the hair upwards. And combing the hair out. I can start the scissor work. Good boy, stand. You sweet, sweet boy. All right, let's turn him around. That's a good boy, stand straight. Missed him over. Brush the hair up. Comb the hair up. And scissor. With the tail lifted up, you can scissor off any hair that falls past the tail off the back of the dog. Comb the hair up and out between the legs and scissor it evenly. Good boy. Turn the dog around. Comb the hair up and out. And make sure the front legs are balanced. Good boy. Using my Heininger Opal Clipper with a 40 blade, I'm going to slide my hands down the ear. and clip off the ends of the ears. Making sure that they look even.
Now I'm going to taper up the back of the ear. Makes it look like a puppy. Good boy. For the face, we're going to comb down the hair over the eyes with our straight shears, trim a bang. Stretch the skin back on the skull. Pull this hair from the forehead forward and trim that. Good boy. Comb it all forward again. Now we're just going to start fanning this backwards. You're all right. I don't want a lot of hair left around his eyes because he does tend to go longer between haircuts. So I'm going to get this quite short. Take my scissors up across the bridge of the nose. All right, buddy. And just keep checking for hair that's poking upwards. I want to clean that off nicely. I'm getting up under the rolls by stretching the skin backwards. It allows me to get my scissor under that roll of skin and snip. I know you're fine, Baba. Yes, you are. You're just fine. Now I'm going to comb this hair forward and skim it back. Comb it forward again and skim it back again. finish up the top of the head, I'm going to use my Zolita Curve Chunkers and just blend this hair back. You're fine. Yes, you're so cute. You are, and you're doing so good, you sweet boy. You're very sweet boy. Using my Curve Chunkers, I'm going to round this face up and bring it into balance. have my fingers in this shape creating a chin rest and a finger behind his ear keeping all pressure off his throat Switching to my straight shears to snip off any hair poking upwards. Oh. 
Lift his ears all the way up, and this hair that's sticking out here, using the chunkers, we're going to blend it up. Do the same on the other side. Oh, He's got this hair poking out past his beard. I'm going to round this up. Being careful he doesn't stick his tongue out. There we go. Now he's got some hair growing into his mouth. I'm going to see if he'll let me trim that out with a 40 blade. By putting my fingers, stretching this back, and lightly skimming up. Watching for his tongue snaking out. We don't want that to happen. Because if it did, we would nick his tongue. There we go. Good boy. He's just the bestest little man. Now I'm going to brush him one more time. You're just fine. Looking for any out of place hair. Comb it all up. And even him out. Do the other side. Stand. Make it clear to them what you expect. They're not going to know unless you tell them. Let's pull these ears forward, comb this hair backwards, and blend it. Also like to roll these ears up to allow hair to hang down underneath and trim that off. Okay, let's do the other side. Pull it forward, comb this back, scissor it off, roll the ear up, comb it down. Check underneath. Good boy.
right, I'm gonna go make him a cute little bandana. I'm finishing Sunny up with a nice bandana. And some eye groom fabulous cologne. Sunny is a new man. Right, Sunny? Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a single upload. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye.